Hello, welcome to ArtTutorialsOnline.com. My name is Paul Priestley. Today we're going to be looking at the fourth in my series on how to draw animals. This time we're looking at a frog. Yes, a frog. It's going to be exciting, so let's make a start. We're going to begin by drawing a very large oval shape, which is going to be pointed at one end and much larger at the other end. The pointed end is obviously going to be the head of the um, frog and you can see here the bottom curve is going to be its tummy. Two little circles at the top to represent the eyes. You can see how the shape is beginning to develop. Now you'll notice that I am drawing this in very very lightly in pencil because the idea is to, to just sketch this out, get the basic shapes then work from there. You can see at the back now I'm working on the legs. Nice curve shapes, make them quite big. Remember, you've got two sets of joints on um, the leg here. You see this curve comes round the back there for the back leg. There we are. So we're beginning to suggest those legs. The front legs are quite large, as you can see. Again, just simple curves and just a few little lines coming out the front. Very long fingers on the um, frog. We're just going to sketch those in very simply to start with. Okay, we do the same for the other side. Nice large legs here, you see, nice big fingers again, because they're very long and sticky, so they can jump. Okay, uh, the back legs are just, again, very long, slim fingers. You can see, just make the tummy look a little bit bigger. And we've now got the basic shape. So I'm just going to go over this now, just strengthen it a little bit, just bring the nose out slightly, just so it looks a little bit better, so we can see where the mouth is going to be. Now, I've changed pencil. I'm now using a softer 2B pencil, and we're just going to go and strengthen the outline. Now, you'll notice the outline is going to be a little bit rougher now because I want it to make look a little bit more like the warts and lumps and bumps on the back of the, um, the frog itself. So you can see as I go around the outline, I'm just making this slightly jagged line, putting a little bit more detail onto the fingers, a few little bumps and lumps the fingers just to make them look that little bit more realistic. There we are. Now, when you're going round the outside, just try to, to do it very, very simply. A few little wobbly lines here and there, just to give a bit of character to the line. Don't make the line too nice and neat and simple. Okay, try to keep it nice and, well, nice and rough to make the, uh, give it the effect of the skin. You see how we've drawn the eyes there, just some very simple shapes simple curves. Now the back leg again, you can see those double joints that we're getting there. Uh, come around the back there, a few little lumpy bits again as we come around and nice long fingers. That's right, there we go. Okay, we've got that uh, more or less finished now. We'll start now putting uh, a little bit of detail on. Now a few little marks, little lumps and bumps here, look a little pattern just to give our frog or stroke toad um, <clears throat> a little bit of um, design, a few little lumps and bumps, you see how it works. Now to do the shading around the eyes, you'll notice I've put a little circle in there. The idea is to leave that little blob white because that little white blob keeps the eye looking alive. You can see by varying the pressure, I can vary the tone that I'm putting on with the pencil. So I'm just going to put in now the darker areas just to give this frog now a little bit of um, three dimensions, see if we can make him look a little bit more realistic and we can keep working on that, keep blocking those areas in, as you can see. Now, as we come down the side of the leg, you'll notice as I'm putting that dark tone in, it makes the leg stand out. And this is really important. You've got to try to make the dark tones, as you can see here, will make the light tone stand out. You see the front leg now is beginning to stand out from the body because of the shading behind it. I'm just going to fill in a few of these patterns now just to give a little bit more detail to the frog. Remember the back of the frog is, well the whole frog's body really is very lumpy and bumpy and quite slimy. <coughs> we need to be able to vary the shape if we possibly can. Now you'll notice here just a few little marks, little bumps, little lumps just to suggest the lumpiness of the body here pressing on a little bit more detail, a little bit more shading here and there. 
The more shading you can do and the variation of shading, the better. You'll notice now I'm pressing on harder. I'm using now a softer pencil. I'm trying to create edges now. See how the dark tones get rid of the outlines. Creating edges always makes things look much more realistic. See what we're doing here. Look, you see that dark tone makes the body stand out. So you've got to keep working around this. Keep putting, keep darkening areas there. You see how it's beginning to look more three-dimensional. I'm using a piece of graphite, using this side of the graphite, and I'm just rubbing it very gently over the basic body so we can still see the tone that we've already drawn coming through. And this is important. Now, you'll also notice that sometimes I'm pressing on quite hard and moving the, the graphite angle, so I get a quite lumpy, bumpy shading to it because it's a lumpy, bumpy sort of body, you see. You've got to make sure that works like that. Just a few final touches now with the... Um, Darkening of the tones. I'm using my soft pencil again. You see, just darkening the tones around some of the feet and my fingers here. So the frog is now looking really three dimensional. Now, just to finish off, I'm going back to my graphite and I'm going to create edges. Now, you'll notice by shading around the outline, as you can see along the back here, I'm shading the background and the outline disappears. It makes my frog look so much more realistic. Right, good luck with your drawing. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you've done a really good drawing. If you have and you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel. You can do so by clicking here. Thank you very much.